How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to the How To Series from the Simple Fly Tech Channel. I'm Noah. And I'm Francisco. Today we're going to be showing you how to be productive and how to organize your life using OneNote and Outlook. We will be implementing GTD methods in this training video. So if you don't know what GTD is, don't worry because we will show you. So today we will be showing you how to be productive, how to be organized with two great programs, Outlook and OneNote. Alright guys, we're back here in Outlook. First thing we have to set up are the categories. So if you go up here to categorize, go ahead and click it. Click all categories. So in here is where we have all our categories. For example, I have at call for yellow, at computer for orange, and at home for purple. That is just an example of how I have it set up. But let's go ahead and make a new one. So let's do new. Here let's say we're gonna set up for reading, we're gonna set up a color for reading time. So we'll do at read. So this is say if you want to block out some time in your schedule to do some reading. So we'll go ahead and find a different color here. We'll do one that we haven't used yet. Let's see, we'll do this, I don't know, this red right here. Okay, so as you can see now we have an at read that's for red. So once we have that set up, then we hit OK. Right now it actually categorized this email, so we're going to go ahead and clear it. So the way to clear a category is you just right click on your email, you go to categorize, and then you're going to go to clear all categories. Okay. So now that we have our category set up, let's go ahead and process an email. So here we have a test email that came in through Noah. Let's go ahead and open this email. This is what Noah is saying. Hey Francisco, we got approved for 30 iPads for Sunshine Academy. We need to get them purchased and set up by November 15th. Thank you. Okay, so this is what we're going to show you in this training. We're going to show you how to take this email and put it in OneNote so we can start getting very organized. So what we're going to do here is, once you have the email set up and open here, we're going to have this button right here that says OneNote. Go ahead and click it. Or actually, let's do one thing before we do that. Let's go to our OneNote. Right here we have OneNote set up with the Capture tab, Projects tab, Read tab, Someday tab, and the Archive tab. This is a pretty simple way of having the OneNote set up. Um, to add more tabs, you just click on this little plus sign and then you type in your new tab. So you can have as many tabs as you want. You can also do the same thing with the notebooks over here. To make a new notebook, you right click in this area and you go to New. But for now, we don't need a new one. So this capture tab is the tab that we will use to process our emails. Right now, we have an untitled page. Here, same thing. You right click, you make a new page. So for now, let's keep this one open. We'll go back to our email. We'll go to the previous email. There's a button right here that says OneNote. Let's go ahead and click it. And then right here, we're going to choose that we want to go to the untitled page and we'll hit OK. So then OneNote will kick, or sorry, Outlook will move your email to OneNote. And so now you have it here in OneNote. So here we can start getting really organized. So we can name this Sunshine Academy iPad Project. OK. So we can start breaking this email down into act actionable items. So we can go ahead and move this down. Here, we can write down. OK, so here we're going to have steps. So the first step we have is to research the prices on iPads. Basically, we're just breaking this email down to actual steps. Once we have a price, then we will get it approved for purchase. Once we have the purchase in, we will receive 
the iPad and set up. And this can go into as many steps as needed. So here we would probably have an inventory set up, um, loading of software, and so on. And then we'll just to keep this short, we'll do for our final step, we'll do deploy iPads. So as, as you can see, I broke this email into action steps. So now that we have these steps set up, we can actually incorporate these as tasks with Outlook. So let's go ahead and make this first one a task. So here, if you don't have this top section where it shows more options, you can go ahead and click on home and then you click on this pin icon. And so now that will pin the options in your OneNote. So to make an, a task out of one of these line items, you're going to go ahead and select the item and then you're going to go to Outlook Tasks. You're going to go to Custom. Alright, so once we are in here, we are going to change this to Research. Prices. Alright, so we go to Categories or Categorize. We are going to label this as something we can do on a computer. This is the reason why we categorize this is so we know which category we will be using for the certain task. So this is something we can do on the computer. So we will change it to orange. We're going to give this a due date of so the final due date of this whole project is to be done by the 15th. So this is something that could be done fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and change this. So let's say let's give us until tomorrow. So the 8th, so we're going to give us a due date. Oops, sorry, I think I changed the start date. We'll change the start date back to today. We'll change the due date to tomorrow. You can go ahead and mess around with these. I don't really touch them. But we can also do a reminder to remind us by tomorrow in the morning. So once we do that, we will save and close it. So now that Outlook task is going to be recorded in your Outlook. So if you click this button down here, these are your tasks. And this is your list. So if you click on task, you will see, okay. So click on task, we're gonna change something so you have your tasks that look like this because your tasks probably do not look like this. So to do that, we will go to view. We're gonna change the view settings. We will be going to group by. You'll probably have this checked. So go ahead and uncheck that and then find categories. And that's all we have to change here. So once you have categories here, you will hit OK. The last thing we're going to change is this, the size of, a, of the fonts, just so it can get a little bit bigger. Go ahead and go to other settings. You're going to change the column font. To some, I have it at 16, so go ahead and change it to 16. Yours is probably at 8. And then we'll do the same for the row font. So we'll change it to 16 here. Once that is done, you hit OK and then OK. So now you have some nice big categories here. So once you have a category set up, then you will have rows of all your categories. So right now, since we categorize that task into computer, then we will have it show up here. So we have it right here in research. We can open it up and now you will have your task here nice and organized for you to look at. So you can organize this by due date or by subject. Usually by due date is the best. So now let's go back into OneNote and let's set up another, another Outlook task. So let's do one that requires a different category. So say okay so say let's let's do one for received the iPads and set up so we go ahead and select this text we go ahead and select this text and then we're gonna go to Outlook Tasks and then custom for that we're gonna set up a new category before we do anything so let's go into all categories 
we're going to set up a new one for Sunshine Academy. So we will do an at and then we'll do a quick SA. Oops. SA for Sunshine Academy. We'll change the color to, let's see, to this green. And now, now we have a, a category for Sunshine Academy. So we hit OK. So now this turns it to green. So this is something, so we'll receive the iPads, but we don't really know when we will receive it depending on purchase date. So let's say sometime between, sometime before November 15th. So let's go ahead and estimate a date that we'll receive. So let's say we'll receive around September 24th. We can always change this later. So let's hit save and close. We'll go back to our outlook. We'll go into our categories. And now you'll see that we have a green category that says receive the iPad and set up. Let's go ahead and change this a little bit so we get a little bit more organized. Um, we'll change this to receive. I like to organize this way just to when you give it a quick glance, you can kind of see what each one entails. So these are, these are follow ups, these are reference, here's some other work that you need to do. Um, the reason, let me talk about categories a little bit. The reason to look, so the reason to have it set up by category is to, to kind of organize your work at the location that you're at. So say you're at home. Usually at home you would only have this open and this is something that you can do from home. Usually you wouldn't worry about a Sunshine Academy category because you're not at Sunshine Academy. Sunshine Academy categories are only things that you can do when you're on site. So this way your, your tasks are set up to where if you're at home you can only do these tasks. Now it's different for a computer because say you, if you're on your computer then you can pretty much get any of these tasks done. Okay so let's go ahead and look at our calendar now. Our calendar is also categorized by colors and categories. So if we do a quick look at our calendar, we have all our events by colors and our categories. This is also a cool way to see your week forecast and see where you have to be for each day. So say here my Monday, we're actually recording a video. So that way I am organized and I see what I'm supposed to be doing. Later on, I'll be working on some cute computer WordPress, and then this, my actual purple category, is working out. Next day, we can see that we have a, a blue category, which is the High Point Academy category, and then I have some offsite stuff. Our, my black is offsite and meetings. So, when you're making an appointment in your calendar, same thing goes with categories in calendars. So say I need to schedule something for the Wednesday here. Um, I can block out this time. I can right click, do a new appointment. And then here, I can also set up my category for that time block. So say this is something, say I need to make a phone call. And I can do say call Noah. Talk about future project something very generic okay so I can save and close that and now you can see that this category turns yellow these are tools that you can use in your everyday work life and personal life no matter in what business you are in this is something that you can apply to anything so you just saw many ways that you can use OneNote and Outlook to increase your productivity, not only at work, but in your personal life as well. I know it keeps me extremely organized, and I would not know what to do without it. If you guys have any questions regarding what you saw in this video, be sure to leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So that wraps up our video on OneNote and Outlook. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to check out our website. See you guys.